Hello, everyone. How are you doing? My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your sex toy queen. And this is Sex Talk with Sharonda. And um, I just want to give everybody a chance to log on for a second. And today's topic is Rebuilding Trust, Part 2. Um, there's a Part 1, and I'm trying to get it downloaded. But for whatever reason, every time I try to send it to someone that asks me about it, um, I'm unable to send it. So I say, you know what, let me just make a part two because that video is about three years old and I have um, more insight that I, can, um, that I can give concerning rebuilding trust. First of all, let me say this. When you're dealing with anything that's dealing with people, there's no such thing as perfection, okay? There's no such thing as perfection in your marriage. There's no such thing as perfection at your job. There's no such thing as perfection at your church. I don't care, your social club, um, anything that you're a part of, you're not going to experience perfection when you're dealing with people because people are imperfect. We all have flaws. We all have something that we need to work on daily. Now, do we get up every day striving for perfection? Yes, you can get up every day and strive for perfection, but you still an imperfect person because you are human, okay? So once we understand that, then we learn to deal with our relationships a little different. What I have found is that a lot of times people are expecting perfection from imperfect people, okay? So when I talk about rebuilding trust, this does not necessarily always have to do with infidelity. For some reason, people think that infidelity is the only issue that happens in a marriage or a relationship, and that's not true. Like, there can be um, trust issues when it comes down to money because I have had people to come in and say, well, when he started the job, he was making this, but I, I I didn't find out until we went to court for child support or whatever that this is what he was actually making. Like, I never got the memo that he was making $20 more than what he was making from this point to this point. Why, why would that information be withheld? I'm just wondering. Um, there can be... Uh, trust issues concerning emotional relationships. This is a big one. Um, it don't always have to be another, for example, you have a person that have a strong attachment to their mom, a strong attachment to their dad, but they are in a committed relationship with you or married to you. Like trust can be broken like that. Meaning, you know, if you taking this person, um, you talk to me about it and then you go talk to your mama about it and then you go do what your mama say do versus what I say do then I can't trust you to do the right thing I can't do I can't trust you to do what we discussed doing because you went behind me and talked to your mama about it and you went and did what your mama said to do that can break trust you said that you was going to take the money and pay this bill with it but yet you took the money and you did something else with it that can break trust. You you said you was going to be in this place. But yet, you not there and you in this place. That can break trust. The only thing that can help any relationship is... to Any relationship to rebuild trust is... Open lines of communication and transparency. Open lines of communication meaning honest communication. Meaning that not only am I communicating with you, but I'm communicating with you honestly and I'm telling you how I really feel about a, cert a certain situation. I don't want to get on the phone with my friend and tell my friend how I feel about you when I wake up to you every day. I wake up to you every day and if I got a concern or a question, I should be able to go to the person that I wake up to versus venting to a friend. I'm with you. So I have to be able to communicate with you honestly and tell you how I really feel, whether it hurts your feelings or not, whether it's uncomfortable, uh, uncomfortable for me to discuss this with you or not. 
if you're not pleasing me in a certain way, I have to be able to tell you, look, I'm not getting pleased. I have to be able to tell you this and you have to be able to be receptive to it without flying off the handle and say, you know what? Thank you for coming to me with this information. Now that I have this information, I can do certain things differently because you've told me how, how, how it made you feel, right? We have to learn that transparency is important. Last week, my Facebook was disabled for all, all three of my pages. I couldn't get on them. So I had to log on to my husband's page and utilize his Facebook to be able to respond to customers, to be able to see who needed an invoice, to be able to see whatever needed to be done. And I was telling people the best way to reach me is on my email, you know, email or call the store. And I also have the website if you need certain information. Some people still contacted me via Facebook, so that means I had to come up with a way to reach them. Well, I'm on his Facebook page. Well, I see y'all thought pockets every fucking well, all in the inbox everywhere. Like, it was just horrible. But I thank God for the man of God that he blessed me with to be able to see y'all bitches and not see y'all. But I'm saying all that to say this. Could you have given your significant other your Facebook and they were able to be on there and be able to get on and get off and be all right? If you couldn't do that, then you got some real serious issues. If my husband's phone ring, if my phone ring, whoever's close to it, answer it. I don't have a problem with you answering my phone. I don't have a problem with anybody answering my phone because only so many people gonna call me. Like, transparency have to be able to happen. I should be able to call you and say, hey, where you at, what you doing? Without you feeling like, why you asking me where I'm at? Why you asking me what I'm doing? You have to be able to have a certain type of transparency in a relationship for it to work. If we got all this shit we hiding and we got secrets and we got this and the other, your relationship, not you, you're not going to have the type of trust that you're going to need to have for it to be able to withstand certain things. Okay? So that's why I tell everybody, if you are in a relationship, if you're in a marriage, I urge you to get my book, Cyber Sex, $16.99. I just had a customer that left out my store and she said, Sharonda, I actually bought your book and I was reading your book. I found out that my husband was reading the book when he asked me how far along in the book I was. And I told him, well, I'm right here. He said, well, I'm further than you. But also she saw a difference in their sex life and she saw him open up and want to try new things sexually because now they're reading this book together. So when I tell people about my book, I ain't trying to just sell you on a book because I have a whole lot of product to sell you. But I think this is one of the most important things that you can do for your relationship because this is something you can read together and you can see where you are in your relationship. My husband has, um, at the end of the book, my husband talks about the house and how it's so important to build your house a certain way. And sometimes if your house is built up on a, on a wrong type of foundation, you got to tear it down and rebuild it all over again the correct way. So... It's important. Cyber sex is on my website. If you're interested, make sure you grab your copy of it. And to sum this up, if you like what I'm wearing, this outfit, this little top, it's called Dirty Little Secret, and it's here at the PPG store as well. Um, but I just really wanted to touch bases on that because I have so many people, they love their spouses, but it's kind of hard to cohabitate in a house with them together or be in a relationship with them because the communication is so off and the trust is so off. And I'm here to tell you, a woman that has been married this summer, 20 years, that trust can be rebuilt if it's broken. Nothing is perfect. You think out of 20 years of marriage that we haven't been through some shit? If you think that I have been married 20 years and I don't know what I'm talking about, you're sadly mistaken. You're not gonna have longevity in any relationship without ups and downs. Okay, so I'm here to let you know that trust can be rebuilt, but you have to have open and honest communication and you have to have transparency. My name is Sharonda Parker. I am your sex toy queen. If you need a sex coach, email me. I also do sex coaching, not in your bedroom, but just basically listen to what you and him have to say or he and you or whatever and trying to get y'all to that next level in y'all bedroom. So thank you again for tuning in. This is Sex Talk with Sharonda. Y'all have a blessed and productive day. I love y'all.